Solve the following equation for all values of theta greater than or equal to 0 and less than 2 pi. 2 sine 2 theta minus 1 is equal to 0. Um, we convert this into one of our fundamental trigonometric equations. If I take the 1 to the right hand side, I would have 2 sine 2 theta is equal to 1. And if I divide both sides by a 2, I would have sine 2 theta is equal to 1 half. On a tree circle, I can show 1 half on the sine axis. 1 half, this from here to here, it would be one unit, therefore one half is right in the middle. The points on the circle which correspond to one half for sine are these points A and A prime. Using a calculator we realize that the first candidate for A would be sine inverse of one half which is pi by six. Therefore we can have two theta is equal to pi by six or theta is equal to pi by twelve. Now pi by twelve is greater than zero and is less than two pi. Therefore, we have found one of the values for theta. Now we know that to point A, there correspond many angles. Another angle can be found from pi by 6 by adding a 2 pi. That means that theta would be pi by 12 plus pi which is 13 pi by 12. 13 pi by 12 is greater than 0 and it is less than 2 pi which is 24 pi by 12. So 13 pi by 12 is less than 24 pi by 12 which is 2 pi. Therefore theta equal to 13 pi by 12 is also an answer. I can add another 2 pi and I would get pi by 6 plus 4 pi. That means theta would be pi by 12 plus 2 pi. But this value is greater than 2 pi because pi by 12 is positive. As a result, I discard this value of theta. If I add another 2 pi, I'll get yet a larger value for theta. Therefore, I can stop the rest of this process. Now I can add a minus 2 pi to pi by 6. But this value will be negative. The reason is that pi by 6 is less than 2 pi. Therefore, I discard this value for 2 theta and the resulting value for theta. These are the two solutions for theta that I can find by looking at point A. Now, point A prime. One of the angles which corresponds to point A prime is pi minus pi by 6, which is 5 pi by 6. Let's call this the fundamental angle. Now, if 2 theta is 5 pi 6, then theta would be 5 pi by 12. 5 pi by 12 is greater than 0 and is less than 2 pi, which is 24 pi by 12. Therefore, this value of theta is in the range that we would like theta to be. 
From 5 pi by 6, I can find other angles that correspond to point A prime. For example, by adding a 2 pi to pi, 5 pi by 6. That leads to theta being 5 pi by 12 plus pi or 17 pi by 12. 17 pi by 12 is a positive quantity, it's greater than 0, and it is less than 24 pi by 12, which is equal to 2 pi. Therefore, it is an acceptable value for theta. 17 pi by 12. I can try for other values that 2 theta can take by adding another 2 pi to 5 pi over 6 plus 2 pi. That means theta could be 5 pi by 12 plus 2 pi. But this is greater than 2 pi. It is positive, so it satisfies half of the condition, but it is greater than 2 pi, because 5 pi by 12 is a positive quantity, and if you add it on top of 2 pi, you get a number which is greater than 2 pi. Therefore, we discard this value of theta. Adding another 2 pi will give us another value for theta, which is, which is bigger than 2 pi, and we can stop the rest of the process. Now, I can add a minus 2 pi to 5 pi by 6 to get another angle corresponding to point A prime. This means that theta would be 5 pi by 12 minus 2 pi. But this is a negative quantity because 5 pi by 12 is less than 24 pi by 12 and the subtraction would end up a negative answer. Therefore, I would discard this value of theta too. The values we found for theta are therefore pi by 12, 5 pi by 12, 13 pi by 12, and 17 pi by 12.